Many entrepreneurs ask me, listen, how can I make my team more entrepreneurial? Now, first of all, don't forget, if your team doesn't have shares or options, they are employees and employees will never become entrepreneurs. That's the first thing. But if they have shares and options, so if you, they, they participate in the success of your company, then there is still more to this. And this is what I'm going to explain in this video. Hey, my name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. If you don't want to miss any of these sessions, I'd like to invite you to become a member of the live community by just clicking the button below this video and you will always be on top of things. Money, shares and stock options are common means of making your team members behave like an entrepreneurs, but there's more to it. And the more entrepreneurial your team acts, the better are the chances of success. I'd like to invite you to watch this video until the end and I'd like to share with you uh, a few strategies on how to make your team more entrepreneurial. Now, strategy number one is sense. Your company's vision and the mission of your company have to make sense. Explain and make sure that also the tasks that support the mission and the achievement of the vision make sense. And if that is the case, then people will rather, much likelier, contribute with a lot of commitment to this vision. Because I also know from experience, if the only motivation for the team is to become rich after the trade sale or the IPO or another kind of exit, that is not a great company culture. So give them the sense and explain that to them. E.g., doesn't it make a lot of sense to start a blog if you don't generate, or for example, if, um, excuse me, just to give you an example, you, you shouldn't ask somebody to start with a blog and just blogging along, you know, and uh, <clears throat> telling stories. It always has to have a sense. So the sense of a blog, for example, is at the end of the day to generate leads. So if you give your people sense in everything they do, their motivation will be, will be higher. And that's certainly more than money, shares and options. Number two, number two is strategy number two is accountability. So really make them accountable for what you give them. Ask them to do a task and say, listen, you're accountable and I want you to tell me uh, how far you've got. And you help them, obviously, you support them, but give them this kind of accountability uh, for their tasks. And finally, strategy number three is rewards and recognition. And that does not need to be money either. It can be a simple thank you. It can be the fact that you're giving somebody a special position, yeah? That you uh, are asking somebody to do a special job, a special mission, a special project. That is also one form of reward and recognition. Education can be motivational in, the, in, 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 these, uh, in these terms. This is also um, something that uh, makes your team and your team members more entrepreneurial. So entrepreneurship is more than just becoming rich. It's about sense, accountability, and the reward for making a difference. You know, if you're going out of your company in the evening and you say, it didn't really matter if I was in this company for the day or not, and I've been through this when I was still an employee in a big company, every evening I would go out of this company and say, my God, it didn't really make sense if I was there or not. This is so disappointing and so disillusioning. So don't go, don't go into <clears throat> such a situation. Give them sense and uh, give, your, uh, uh, give your people the sense and live the sense. Now, life coaching will enable you to acquire the skills of great entrepreneurs within weeks. And if you would like to learn more about leadership for entrepreneurs and to have my first tips completely for free, book a private session with me by clicking on the link underneath this video. I'm really looking forward to having you.